So let's review average value, which we just went through, but more so average velocity. So we've got average value and average velocity, and we're going to talk about the relationship to each other um, and the importance of either one. Okay, so there's two ways to calculate the average velocity of a particle. And we're dealing with rectilinear motion here, so this is the application of anything that we're doing, whether it's derivatives or integrals. So if you are given the position function s of t over a given time interval from a to b, the average velocity is calculated by taking s of b minus s of a over b minus a. Can someone tell me what that is? Ah, the slope of the secant line. It is essentially y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, but you have to have the position function. So that's the key thing. So if I'm asking you for the average velocity, what's, well then what's instantaneous velocity? There were two things. It's the derivative, it's f prime, right? Okay, uh, yeah, we moved past that, but yeah, the definition of the derivative. I was thinking of Nope, that's fine. Nope, you went all the way back. I'm going you all the way back. You did, you did, you did. Okay, so now if we're given the velocity function v of t over a given time interval, the average value is found by using the function that we just defined before. Okay, these are the same, guys. It's just based on what you are given. So, um, forgetting about this for just one second, this right here, if you are integrating the velocity, where does it take you? Integrating, not taking the derivative, you're integrating. Going the you're going to the position function. So you're doing the same thing, except here it's based on what you're given. So let's take a look. Suppose that the velocity of a particle moving along a coordinate line is given here. Find the average velocity over this time interval. Okay, so they give us the velocity function. They want the average velocity, which is the average value. Okay, that means you have to use what we just went through. I have to take one over my time interval, which is three minus zero, and integrate from zero to three, two t squared minus t dt. I don't have the position. I need to get it, which is what I'm doing when I integrate. So we've got one third times. What's the integral of 2t squared dt? Two thirds t to the third. Nice. Two thirds t to the third minus? Minus one half t squared. Minus one half t squared to be evaluated from zero to three. Okay, here's my question. My lower bound is zero. I know it's going to be f of b minus f of a. All of my terms in my position function have a variable. Do I have to evaluate this? No, I do not. What if this was, and I'm just making this up, 2 thirds t cubed minus 1 half t squared plus 1? Would I have, yes, then I would have to do it. Does everyone understand the difference? Okay. So here we have 1 third times, we're going to plug in 3. So 3 cubed is 27 times 2 thirds is 18, because 3 goes into 27, 9 times 2 is 18, minus mm, 9 halves, is that right? Okay, this is 36 over 2, minus 9 halves, so what is that, 27 halves? Okay, so this is 27 halves, so what is this, 9 over 2? That's the average velocity, 9 over 2, it doesn't give me any units, so I just kind of have to stop. Everybody okay? Did I do that right? Am I good? Okay. So now here, if you look at the next question, it says, suppose that the position of the particle is given by the following. They give me the position, and they want to find the average velocity over this given time interval algebraically. They're telling me I have to show my work. So you can think about it one of two ways. You could say, okay, fine. I have a point with the uh, x-coordinate 0 and another one with the x-coordinate 3. How do I get the y value? Yeah, plug this in. So what's uh, the y value for 0? Zero? 0, sweet. Okay, 3, this is uh, 18 minus 9 halves, which we said was 27 halves. Okay, do you see this relationship here, what's happening? 
Okay, so now just I'm just going by the formula. We're using the slope of the secant line to find the average velocity. 27 halves minus 0 over 3 minus 0. This is 27 over 2 times 1 third, which is 9 halves. This was the position function that we obtained when we integrated the velocity from the previous problem. We gave you the same problem on purpose to show you that they are exactly the same. It just depends on what you're given. Does everyone understand the difference between the two? Yet, they're the same. Okay, does anyone have any questions? MVT, average velocity, average value.